I grew up in California. I'm a fourth, fourth generation cowboy. So I grew up roping with my grandpa and my uncles and my mom and my brother every day out there. And then as we progressed, we junior rodeoed and started to go to the junior high rodeos and the high school rodeos and then onto the college rodeos. And it just kind of seemed like every level we progressed was a stepping stone in, in the sport of rodeo. Kind of got done college rodeoing and amateur rodeoing. Started to set, set our sights on the pro rodeo trail and you always see the rookie of the year buckles growing up and that seemed like a pretty cool deal to me and kind of the coolest part of it was that you only had one chance to win that. You could try to make the high school finals four years or the college finals four years and make the NFR as many times as you want, but you got one year, one chance to try to win the rookie of the year. So we kind of planned it out and waited till I felt like I was ready for, for that stepping stone and gave her all we had and was fortunate to win the rookie of the year all around. 2016, I don't know if it was the best move because we didn't have a veteran with us, but got in the rig with Cooper Martin and he was a rookie too. And we were both headed out on the trail for the first time. Both kind of had the goal of trying to win the rookie, resist all rookie of the year and, and make the NFR. We both came up just short of, of making the NFR, but you know, you learn so much just not even just rodeoing, because we'd, we'd, we'd rodeo between the high school and college and amateur, but and kind of knew how to win a little bit, but just, just learning how to get around, learning how to enter, when was a good time to go to a certain rodeo, and, and sometimes we didn't do that, sometimes we'd go at the bad times. I mean, I've rodeoed nine years now, and, and made the NFR and the tight end roping twice, and made the steer roping national finals twice, um, and you get out here, and. You know, every year it seems like you go through the highs and lows, and whenever whenever you're winning, it's everything's all good and gravy. But you kind of run into a valley every once in a while, and you know, I I dang sure keep my rookie buckle with me in the trailer just because it's a reminder of of all the you know highs and lows and learning curves that we went through that year. I um, mean, it just kind of reminds me to just stick it out and and remember the the things I've learned out here throughout the years, and and kind of gets me back on track. Being a rookie out here, you know, you're you're having to pay your dues. You're having to go through the learning curve. And you see kids come out here and have won a lot, had a lot of success at the junior level and the amateur level and and hadn't gone through too many of the, the low points, you know, the valleys. So I think the hardest part for some guys coming out here is learning how to deal with not winning every time they nod their head. And so to me, just try to keep your highs not overly too high and you're don't let your lows get too low. Keep kind of a level keen right there um, because it's it's going to go through waves. You're going to draw good, you're going to draw bad, but if you take the best care of your horse as you, as you can and you know try to learn from your mistakes and and do better whenever you enter the next rodeo, it's all going to work out in the end and and you know you only get one chance one one opportunity in your lifetime to win the resist all rookie of the year. So it's worth taking the time and and looking at all the all the different things to to try to get that accomplished. Having a time event championship title under my belt, getting to make the steer up finals a couple times and it, it all started with the resist all rookie of the year championship. I don't keep very many buckles with me in, in the summer but thanks sure the resist all rookie all around time event championship of the world and a go round buckle from the steer up finals. I'm Taylor Santos and I'm the 2016 Resist All Rookie of the Year All Around Cowboy and I live it every day. We live it every day.